This GPU has hidden VRAM which you can unlock by literally downloading a thing from the internet. I didn't believe when I first saw it, but this insane sounding thing is real. And judging by its look, you could already tell that we are dealing with exotic pieces of tech. This is the P104100, which no, not really just a mining version of the GTX 1070 as some people claim. Yes, the chip is the same, but the memory is different. Instead of GDDR5, it uses faster GDDR5X memory. Also, instead of 8GB of memory, it comes with 4. Or does it? Let's keep the intrigue a bit. Since this GPU is disabled, even though I don't like Nvidia, I will be very nice to it. So I got this sweetie with crappy 90mm 12V fans which are powered directly from 12V coming from PCI Express connector. Yep, previous owner just soldered it there, which is scary. Only problem was that my case was supposed to hold only one GPU, so I decided to use zip ties and uh, this GPU is basically at the place where water cooling should be and there are also two NZXT risers that can literally cause fire at your home, those are special risers if you know what I'm talking about, and two coolers on the top, temperatures are fine. Ok, about downloading VRAM, originally as I said there were 4 gigs. The truth is that there are actually 8 gigs soldered physically. From the factory, part of this memory is locked. However, if you download modified firmware from the internet and flash it, you can unlock additional 4 gigabytes on P104 and 5 gigabytes on P102. So basically, now I got 8 gigabyte GDDR5 GPU for just $25, but there should be a catch, right? And sure, there is. Since it's mining GPU, it has no video outputs, so you have to use integrated graphics for this play out. Nvidia was very restrictive parent to this kid and they didn't want it to be able to make 3D acceleration, for example gaming, they limited this functionality in drivers, but luckily there are also patched drivers for that removing the limitation. But for gaming, this GPU is a bad solution. First thing you need to know watching this test is that P106100 is basically a mining copy of 1060 with only one change. It has 16 lanes of PC Express first generation instead of third generation and here we can see how important it is. Much more powerful P104100 with 8GB of faster memory can't just catch up even close to P106100 and that is why they cost around the same and all of that because of 4 lanes of first generation PCI Express. Sad. Same limitation has P102. So is it worthless? If not for gaming, what else can you use it for? Answer is AI, where spoiler, for 25 bucks its performance is far beyond anything at this price point, and I mean anything. I used the original Nvidia drivers latest available, and you can see that I am getting around 28 tokens in the beginning with Llama 3.1 8BQ 4KM. Uh, if you're not into this stuff, it's just, you know, a good model for the 8GB GPUs, any 8GB GPUs, and the speed I'm getting is kind of nice. There is nothing that can run at the same speed for this price. Nothing. What do we have in the end? Of course, a manifestation of greed by Team Green. Just for your understanding, on newer mining GPUs made by Nvidia, it is possible to add PCI Express lanes by soldering missing capacitors. With this one, it will not work for some reason. I am almost sure they actually needed to change the design of a board to make it impossible to make this card a gaming one. Why don't newer mining GPUs from Nvidia like CMP series have that limitation? Maybe because these design changes cost Nvidia money. Or they suddenly decided to be a tiny bit less less greedy. Soon I will make very interesting Nvidia iceberg and check BC250 video if you didn't, it's insane. Thank you for watching, goodbye!